to cook food. Um, I used to live in a crack den. Uh, in the crack den we used to share with people who were messy and it was great fun so I did not like to cook there but when I did cook it would be relatively healthy food. I also uh, relied on takeaways a lot like way too much than I should like way too much like I was blabbery blabberson <clears throat> after I was finished with my takeaway and fast food really messes up your mental health eating crap food every day really messes up your mental health and i only really realized how good fruits and veg affect your head like um so that's number one number two um i don't actually tell you these unless you're not wrong spot because i thought that'd be more honest also i don't like to plan things oh number two planning things <laughs> uh the reason i'm talking like this now is to kind of say where the video went wrong it was supposed to be 24 things I learned but <laughs> as uh, unplanned and unprepared as I am as a person I did not make 24 things and kind of did it on the spot when I was a bit drunk uh so I think I got like I think I got 10 things but then the first few are very boring and not entertaining to watch then I tell a story and forget what I'm talking about and then the last few things I get a bit like soppy and emotional for no reason. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that, but here you go. Here's this a fuckery of shit. Uh, 24 years, fuckery of shit. Yeah, hey, 24 years of pain and suffering. Well, planning's good. Uh, me and my friend moved to the UK without any plan, really, and we survived and it was like the best experience of my life so far but I do enjoy planning it makes things so less stressful went to Ben Hussein, did the festival and we're like okay we still have a few more days uh, we also hadn't booked our return flight so we went to Barcelona we were on the train and my friend had to book the Airbnb we were going to stay at like we were going to Barcelona with no actual plan so we sat in the a uh, big train station in Barcelona and tried to find a place to stay and then we ended up just walking there and it was perfect it was just like a room like this size and the two of us stayed there and then I decided oh I want to go home to Ireland and visit my family so <laughs> on our last day uh, I had booked a flight from uh, Barcelona to Lisbon and then from Lisbon to Ireland to Dublin because that's the only way I could do it so <laughs> Of course, like two hours before I had to go catch my flight without packing, without anything being ready back at the house, we decided let's let's go on a trip on the cable cars on Barcelona up to the big mountain. Because like, why not? So we do that and we're <laughs> up the top of the hill and I'm like, oh no, I have 40 minutes to be at the airport and we're looking for a taxi. I have no money at this point as well. We're looking for a taxi. We're looking for a bus, we're looking for a train, we're looking for absolutely anything. So we had a bus and I'm freaking out. Then eventually we get to the house. My feet are covered in blisters from the festival. My feet are like in bits and like we were walking around Barcelona for ages. So that didn't help. And we get back to the place. I'm literally like throwing everything in. Don't have money to get to the airport. So I'm like, can I borrow money from my friend? Hoping that I can get there with five uh, euro get there and find out I think it was it was five euro to get there and um, also some homeless lady came up to me and was like please give me one eight and I was like I have 20 cent you can have that and she got really mad at me it's a different story <laughs> so I'm on the train and my flight is supposed to leave like 20 past six or something 
I get there a quarter past six. I'm running. I get through security and I'm on the bottom. Oh no, sorry, I'm on the second floor. So I'm running around and my flight's not on any screen. And I'm going like, what, have I just missed it? Like I know I passed the time I was supposed to fly out, which is like whatever, half six or something. And I'm running around, I can't find it. Like it goes past 10 minutes. So I'm like, no, it has to be gone. I'm getting upset. Like I start crying in the middle of the airport and I'm trying to ask uh, security for directions. And a lot of them didn't speak English. And my Spanish, I studied Spanish in school, but my Spanish was not great. So I was like, hola, el puerto, ué, that's French. Donde está el gato? I don't know. I see, oh my God, I see out of the corner of my eyes some stairs. And they're kind of blocked off, but I'm like, I'm just really drawn to these stairs. So I'm bawling my eyes out, like mascara running down, my suitcase being wheeled behind me, my suitcase was kind of broken as well. So I go down the stairs and there's all these people like drinking beer uh, who worked in the airport and just hanging out. And they just see this big mess, like mascara running down my face, broken bag, like wobbling all over the place, crying. And I'm like, I really need to get to my flight. And they're like, honey, it's, it's over there. Like there's a big sign. It's like right over there. And I'm like, no, no one can tell me where to go. And I'm really upset. And I just don't know where it is. And they're like, no, honey, we just told you it's over there. And I'm just like, I just don't know where to go. And they're like, no, baby girl, it's right, right, right here, like right in front of you. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay. I didn't see that. So they're like, okay, crazy lady. So I basically have to run through customs. There was like more security. And I'm like, how did I get back out? Not very secure in there. Confusing airport, not very secure. I'm sorry. So I go run. Then I see the sign. It's like, you are uh, checking gate. Is 20 minutes run away. So I'm like, okay. So running down the place. Oh, also, not to mention, I didn't have a seat number. I was on hold or on board. It was like I went with a weird airline that I'd never flown before. I can't even remember what they're called. And you don't get a boarding number. You get just like a, oh, you're on hold kind of thing. But everyone gets them. It's not just like if they overbook and they're kind of like, oh, maybe you'll get a ride. But it's like everyone, every person who books is over. Uh, whatever I just said, I can't think of the word. So I run and I'm crying and sprinting and I'm out of breath. My feet are all blistered and horrible. I get to my gate and I'm like, I must have missed it because there's a queue for a plane and it hasn't even started moving. And I'm like, I missed it. Then it turned out it was my plane. I was 25 minutes late. Like, I mean, late from flying time, not like the last check-in. It was flying time. And they hadn't even started letting people in. And that was an actual sign from God. And my phone was dead. I had no money. I didn't have my bank card with me because I lost my bank card. And I would have been stranded <laughs> in Spain because my friend was going to fly straight back to England. And I would have been stranded in Spain by myself with no way to contact anyone. Uh, and I would have probably lived my life in Spain as a... A Spanish person, a fake Spanish person, I would have just pretended I was Spanish, learned the language and like or work my way up, then become president. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I was talking about things I've learned, so that was planning. That was planning. I'm not gonna be twenty four. We'll do like <laughs> Ten things I learned in my twenty-four years. Sorry, four. Four would be. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Gorgeous girl. The best cat in the world. She's better than your cats, motherfuckers. I never make promises. Cause I don't keep them Cause I don't keep them Happy birthday to you
Number five. Ooh, money. I'm so bad at saving money. Taurus energy. Save money. Don't pay for direct debit. Direct debit is good sometimes, but generally when you can't manage money, it's very bad. I'm just gonna cut in here again. I am watching this video and I am talking about money. Okay, <laughs> everyone knows to save. Everyone knows direct debits can be bad. So I'm just talking a whole lot of crap. And I'm sorry if you listen to this, but the content wasn't good to begin with in the start. <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry, but keep watching because I want to make this uh, some sort of uh, hobby and I want to keep doing this and get followers and likes and subscribers and all this shit. So just watch the video. I'm sorry that it's not great. I will work on it. I'm trying to get better. Uh, yeah. Because I've been living to survive for the past two years. I work paycheck to paycheck and literally survive. Like I would go like a week having no money. Like whatsoever. And I'd still be able, like no money is in, like I can't even feed myself. And I'd still be able to go out that week. I'd still find a way. Like the priorities are very wrong in that situation, but I'd still be able to feed myself and I'd still be able to go out and have fun. Um, I had a stalker and it could have been avoided if I just gave out to him and I just said stop. I did say stop but I wasn't firm enough because these people don't under always understand. The nice approach? So it's just a matter of being mean when you need to be mean. Number seven is, um, I don't know what number seven is. <laughs> number seven is that you got to live for yourself. You can't live for anyone else. So that includes your parents, your family, your friends, whatever. Um... I always kind of live to please people. I'm a people, people pleaser, a people pleaser, and I really just noticed like how important it is to live for yourself. Uh, I'm very comfortable being naked. A relationship isn't the most important thing in the world. Um, I've been probably single for. Three, nearly three years? It'd be three years in like October. Like I've dated a few people in that time, but I've never been, like I haven't had a boyfriend in about three years. And it's actually been the best, like best ever. Like I've got to do what I want to do. I don't have to change my plans. I don't have to compromise on anyone. And people are like, okay, yeah, a boyfriend would be nice. Or a girlfriend, like I don't even care. But I'm not pushed. If my comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come. But, I, <laughs> like, yeah, everyone wants to find love. Everyone wants to find someone they can have a baby with and settle down and travel the world and buy a house with, blah, blah, blah. But I can also do that with myself. Well, I guess I can have a baby with myself. <laughs> my, uh, my nephew told me in a video that I didn't have a pee, -pee. And he's right. I do not have a pee, -pee. Unfortunately. <laughs> Number ten. This is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst list ever. Um. Well, okay. This is a big one. When you are in a bad situation. No, I don't know if this is ever, but this is me. When I'm in a bad situation, I go into bad situation mode. So this means I. Um, I call it like mule energy, like I'm trying to get through this, I'm not here to like have a good time, I'm here to survive, like a lot of bad stuff happened last year and I muled through it, like I survived, I did what I had to do to survive but I was also super depressed without feeling super depressed, uh, like I would just lie in bed, like I didn't, I worked at night, like I worked in a bar and I lived with my housemate, we shared a room, and I would literally just lie on my bed all day, every day, till I had to go to work. 
we go out a few times. Like, I have friends, and I love coming out with my friends. Like, I did enjoy that. But I would just sit at home and watch YouTube all day, every day. And it was tough. Like, I look back, and I'm trying to, like, find joy in things again. Like, music and painting. Like, I painted that behind me <laughs> from TikTok. <laughs> And like music, I'm trying to get back into music and like write songs and I'm learning how to mix and I'm like doing all this and I'm getting into vlogging and YouTube and I'm gonna make more documentaries and like do the things I always said I was gonna do. And I used to feel bad that like I was so depressed that I couldn't get through things. With, with, like I could get, sorry, I could get through things. But I just didn't enjoy life. And it was so hard, like, I was giving out, like, when I was starting to feel better, I was, like, giving out, being like, oh, I can't believe I was just so lazy and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, sometimes you just have to be able to hit true things. Sometimes you just have to be this void of happiness being to survive. And when you are out of the danger zone, you can go back to enjoying life. That is my 24, totally not 24. Uh, things I've learned in my 24 years. Happy birthday to me, Taurus season. All uh, my Taurus people out there, yeah, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, subscribe. I will have a camera soon. I just left my charger in the UK before lockdown. Um, so I'm filming everything on my phone and <laughs> nothing looks super high quality. That was my uh, essential oil Mr. turning off. I think it means it's time to end the video. So, uh, adieu, uh, farewell, and uh, namaste.